and the DVR. The Big Dumb Fun Show. You're listening to the Big Dumb Fun Show. Of course, we're online at BigDumbFunShow.com. My name is Aaron. I'm Bankman. And I'm Brina. And I'm Guy. Named Chris. <laughs> Whoever. <laughs> and uh, we are all... Uh, the voice? I'm the voice. Sports with a voice named Chris. No. All right, so... According to AshleyMadison.com, now Ashley Madison, if you're not familiar with it, is a, a website where uh, dudes can go on to uh, if he's uh, looking to looking to have an affair. What? They sign on the website. What was the really? name of that? What was that? Uh, it's AshleyMadison.com. Is she so, that, Isn't she, she like a porno star? I don't think so. The, I don't even the, know what to say. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this. Jeez. AshleyMadison.com. You go there, you sign up, and you say, hey, I'm a dude, and I'm wanting to get freaky. It's, they, they keep it entirely uh, private. Not with my what? Uh, yeah. Well, that's what, and most of most of them are, are, are cheaters. Like, they're, they're, they're cheating, and they're going on here because they're, they're looking for love, and uh, and they, they want to do it discreetly, of course, because they don't want to be caught because of one thing or another. Is one, this not illegal? Getting pissed. No, this isn't illegal to How cheat is that on illegal? anybody. illegal? Send me the link. Yeah, I'll send <laughs> shoot it right over to no, you. No, don't you second. even I'm just signing start up. there. Just kidding. Gnurka's signing up. He's going to pretend like he's cheating. Here it says, life is short, have an affair. Well, I don't really wouldn't. I mean, for me to have an affair, I'd have to have Get married a first. significant other. So yeah. does she have a motto on there? Yeah, life is short, have an affair. It's saying like, hey, really? have that's as much fun. That that's the short. Yeah, that's the, the motto. But but the, the, the interesting thing that happened. I this lady. The, it, this, it's, it's a website. It's a, I it's lost a company. I respect in this website, lady. All right, that's their business. And, I don't uh, care, it's mean. It says, Hold on, uh, let's see what their guarantees are. <laughs> it's it's, it's a, a survey that came out from this website of... Some of their cheating clientele. Oh, geez, it says, uh, uh, and of course, it says Ashley Madison, a dating website uh, that have uh, have had married uh, people looking to have affairs. Uh, usually, the guy. Do you is, have to be married? I guess not. But this is the typical. Okay. Like people are like, what is the picture of a, well, of a well, guy that cheats? Cheater. He's saying that they're likely in their forties. Oh, great! I'm already like there. He's been married for over ten years. That's me. He has two children. I do. And they are over ten years old. <laughs> and they are. So this You're is you. So lying. You no, are... no, no, I swear to God. So what's your this account is... name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> account name on there? Sports with a guy named Chris. Yeah. So oh, is it great. like a Facebook or something, it's, or it's all it's private? It's like a Facebook. It's kind of like a Match.com. Except it says Ashley Madison is the most recognized name in infidelity. Yeah. We are oh, the most really? recognized and reputable extramarital affair company. How so is they that did a, reputable? Like, you want a reputable extramarital yeah, affair exactly. company. Yeah, exactly. That's the most Absolutely. important thing I'm looking for. How is that reputable? How could anybody work It's reputable work there? because they I keep things feel... private. Guys will no, sign up No, because they've been on Howard Stern. I would they've feel been on Stern so and they've been private. guilty every day if I, that's, if I worked for this company. They surveyed 11,000. I would ask uh, your significant other. So what do you do for a living? I work at this <laughs> Ashley Madison. We find men and hook them up and with other women, make sure they have uh, great affairs. Okay, more importantly, how much do you make a year? Millions? Done. You know what? Well, they don't care. <laughs> of the 1,453. Hey, I've got a shabby internet radio show. Of the 11,453 fathers surveyed, uh, the largest percentage of would-be cheaters to work... Uh, in the IT engineering field, a career that has moved up on the list since placing fifth in 2010's survey. So this is saying that if I don't work you, in IT, by the way. If you have a husband that's in his 40s, been married over 10 years, has two children over 10 years old, and he works in IT slash engineering, he's not Microsoft with not you. Not Tyler. <laughs> I'm good. I'm safe. <laughs> See, no, he's got a hard drive. A close yeah. number two is poker players, which is weird, I thought. <laughs> well, he's not over 40. Mm-hmm. He hasn't been married for 10 years, and he does not have two kids, let alone two kids. Oh, no, he has more than two kids. He has nada. That you, that you know of. Yeah. Not a kid. Is there a chance he could be living a secret agent life? No, no way. Nothing at all? No. How long have you been seeing Yeah, part children? of a secret well, agent in life years. is not. Oh, boom. Did I nail that? Okay. 11 years? And I didn't even get invited to, the, to the party. No, mm-hmm. excuse you. It said Big Dumb Fun Show. Please whoop out the invitation at the envelope. It doesn't say Jeff and Bankman. It says Big go. Dumb Fun <laughs> Show. <laughs> all right, here's the percentage breakdown of the most cheatingest of husbands uh, with are we allowed to say with, cheating bastards? Yes. Well, I just with did, IT. 10%, uh, 10.6% actually, the IT slash engineers. 8.2% financial industry, stockbrokers, Wall Street, all that crap. Mm. Uh, 6.5% in the education field. Teachers. Wow. Teachers is out there banging, huh? At least they're out banging people and not kids. Kids, exactly. I'll tell you one thing. Teachers are crazy. They're wild. 
I think teachers. Yeah, that's all. That's all I work with. You know that, right? I have. A well, lot they got of three months friends. off in the summer. What are they going to do? I have they teacher gotta... friends, and they have fun. They party more than. Here's what you do. Do you they shower home? together? No. 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 None of them are probably gym instructors. All right. Four point six percent are doctors. That and that's not hard me. to believe. Three point eight percent are lawyers. That doesn't surprise me. So it's but, the ones with the money that think they can get away with anything and do anything. But of course, there's and two they're the ones God that complex, are always. Huh? Excuse yeah. me, not to like stereotype, but those types of people are always <laughs> never home. They're always at work, at work, at work. Not to stereotype as I'm stereotyping, but <laughs> but the housewives are not innocent themselves. Yeah, but they just don't have to go to AshleyMadison.com or whatever. No, they, there's another site. They probably. just call a plumber. Shades the, of gray. Here's the, the other <laughs> side Roto-Rooter. of the coin. The other side of the coin. Cheating wives. The site pulled a smaller percentage, of course, but women can sign up on this as well. 2,865 married female members and found out the typical cheating married woman was in her 30s, married for five years or less, hmm. and had a daughter under three years old. No way. She is most likely to be a teacher. Stay at home mom or work in the medical industry, according to a representative from Ashley Madison. Told you. This absolutely 100% describes my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing is, you've got teachers with teachers, you've got medical industry with doctors, yeah. and you've got, and what was the other one that it match, matched up to? Uh, teachers, stay at home moms. Oh, yeah, with the poker players. What about yeah. homeschooling moms? <laughs> no homeschoolers on there. So, I, I don't know, are you guys surprised at all of the findings? Would you think that there would be another profession? Like where's the yeah. traveling salesman? The guys that are always traveling, they're they're ho- they're not. They don't have time here. to go to Ashley Madison. They're, tra- no, they're always they trying to make time. the buck. Yeah. They don't have they don't have time to do that, but they are traveling overseas. Cheating. This takes they it all the way cheating. to three point eight percent. That doesn't come back to America. Airline pilots. I would have thought stewardesses. I yeah. would have thought they would be higher up on the list, but not. This is very surprising to, to well, plumbers. They're not Maybe they're just plumbers. really discreet. Yeah, yeah I thought I thought plumbers. No. I even Rena went straight to plumbers, I went right? To plumbers, but yeah. but but. The flight attendants and stuff, they don't have as much time as you think. Oh, I think they have a lot of layover time. They have a lot of layover <laughs> time, but when you've been flying for all day, a lot of them just crash at their... Because I have a few flight attendant friends that by the time they get out of the airport into their hotel, it's pretty dang late, and then they got to be up really, really early because all of them are thinking about going home. So there's no... Yeah, but what's the quickest involved. way to go to sleep? That's right. Well, I mean, huh? I'm a guy, well, so... Yeah. you got to know. you got to be able to find a guy within seconds. There's a pilot right there in the yeah. cockpit. Listen, you got a whole plane full of I just of love them. layovers, Here's, cockpits, all that. It's just a lot of good, <laughs> it's a lot wonderful. Of good terminology. <laughs> it's great. Industry. Here's my question, though. Forget about all of those things and the cheaters and the non cheaters. What about the faithful relationships and the engagement parties? Let's talk about the engagement to, and party. And can we talk about this? On that invitation, it does say Big Dumb Fun Show. Yeah. It doesn't say Jeff and Aaron or. Jeff and Chris or Jeff and McGinnis. It says Big Dumb Fun Show. Yeah. So, my which is, point. Which is legally owned by so Jeff and Aaron. So, what you're so. saying is that, uh, and that Chris my, and, and my, yeah, even Ross could my, go. Because it says Big Dumb Fun Show. <laughs> well, I was planning Period. to, because he has to go to the Isla Capri and perform, giving away some of that easy money on That's Saturday. Right. I was going to go out to the Isla Capri. I got Saturday off, so I don't have to work. And I'm going to kidnap him and make sure that he at least shows up for Drag me in. a few and minutes. We're going to be there I'm late. Gonna We're going to be late. I'm blowing that's his okay. cover here, but I'm going to hijack him. Yeah. And that's the story he can tell his wife. Yeah, okay. there you go. Like, she'll believe that. Why don't you bring hijack wife? me on his bike. Bring your wife. No, she's not going to. She hates Italian food. Well, I'm just kidding. Mine. All right. Uh, big thanks to Anyways, Bobby Simpkins tonight. Jim Kilroy. That's going to be on Friday, June 22nd. And, of course, Sky Seems Red. They uh, they were in here. They gave us a great, great acoustic performance. And, yeah, that uh, was pretty They'll pretty be at neat. Jerry's Bait Shop on the 26th, Tuesday. Gage has played there before, too. And no, you're doing the what on Sunday? I am doing the Kansas City Urban Fashion Fest. It's a fashion show at the Gym Theater at 6 p.m. I'll be, I'll be there on I'll be Saturday. I'll be one of the hosts. And then we will migrate over oh, to Rena's have, engagement party. I have henna on Friday, engagement on Saturday, hosting Wait, are you a fashion be, are you show be henna on tattoo? Sunday. On oh, they Friday. always do that. Yeah, it's wonderful. And then show on Monday. Oh, my gosh. Are you gonna, by Monday, are you still going to have the henna tattoo? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. They'll be on for a few weeks. Well, until then, we mm, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Oh, my, oh, my, yeah.